Today we're headed down south to the Mexico border to what was once dubbed the most dangerous national park in America. Where are we going? We're going to Organ Pipe Cactus National Monument. Should you let that scare you away from visiting this awesome national monument? We think not and we're going to show you why. Welcome to No Ordinary Path. I'm Kristen, this is John, and we travel all over the country in our 37 foot travel trailer with our three kids and a dog. And he's a travel nurse. Did I say that? I yeah, didn't say no, that. but this that's is okay. A travel nurse. Yeah, that's what allows us to do this awesome lifestyle. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Thank you for being here. We would love for you to subscribe and hit the thumbs up and ring the notification bell. And also leave us a comment so we can welcome you to our channel. And today we're actually coming to you right now from. Organ Pipe Cactus National Monument. It's a bit of a mouthful, mouthful but it is a cool place. It, it is, is right here on the border of Arizona and Mexico. Yes. Oh, and you guys are actually in a Palo Verde tree right now. So if you notice that- Swinging. If you notice, Swing. it goes up and down a little bit. Hopefully the stabilization on this GoPro is really good. <laughs> we'll see. Yes. Last year when we were in Arizona, we completely missed this national monument. In fact, I don't really even know that we knew much about it. I knew it was here but, because it was in the, in the passport stamp book to like to go to, but yep. it seemed far away. And it it really, did. And which one is of funny. Our, yeah, it wasn't that far no, to drive. No, not at all. Yeah, one of the people at the meetup that we were at last said, oh, you should go visit there. We just came from there. It's really great. But beware that you're gonna come across this like smuggling sign when you stay in the BLM. Or a few, but or it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Where are we at? We're at We're at Gunsite Wash, which is just outside of Oregon Pipe. Cactus National Monument, which is just outside of the border from Mexico. Yeah, it's been really interesting and I would love to do some more research because there's this really scary sign when you pull into the BLM lot yeah. that says like legal immigrants and possible smuggling, yeah. like the word smuggling is used. And then when you get in here last night, there was Border Patrol like circling They've gone around a few times. Yeah. And then today we had Border Patrol come by us out, cruise I mean, and by like slowly. cruise by mm -hmm. slowly, kind of stop and keep going. Yeah. There's lots of other rigs here though, so I don't feel unsafe. There's plenty of people that are boondocking out here, but I think most of them have solar. Yeah. Because we're like the only we're ones, like the only ones running, running the generator. The generator. Yeah. I wanted to show them our, our backpack addition, yeah. or addiction, our backpack addiction. Ta da! This is my purse. Sort of. It's my backpack that goes everywhere. And three hydration packs, one for each kid. Actually, this is John's. Ethan's is in the van. So, um, and then we have a snack pack. And then over here we have our camera backpack. All told, we actually own 13 different backpacks. And that was paring down. Hey, and they each have their They're purpose. all used for something they special. Are. They all have a, their very own purpose. <clears throat> yep. Each kid also has a book backpack, like a school backpack, that they use for like when we go to the library or to the gym, they put their clothes on them. So everyone has, they are all functional. Well, but it's funny that we you have got so many. <laughs> drawers and closets in a, you know, in a, in a house, and we have backpacks. Yeah, we have backpacks. <laughs> those places that it might have behooved us to send a drone up just so we could see it's like a maze there's no like main road they're all just these little meandering roads and I think we might have added a few Arizona pinstripes to this side maybe we can buff them out later we'll see. we should mention I don't know if you can see behind us there are some some bigger like class A rigs here. Like you definitely can get a bigger rig in here. You just have to be really careful about navigating if you don't want pinstripes. This is 
is a beautiful park to visit. Yeah, uh, it's well worth making the trip out here. Is. And I don't think we've ever been to any kind of national park or monument where it's not felt that way. Um, but we especially love the ones that are geared more towards nature. And this is definitely one of those parks. Yeah. Um, the Oregon Pipe Cactus obviously is one that's around here. And we didn't really see too many of them near Phoenix or even in no. Tucson when we went to Saguaro. You know why? Because this is the furthest north that Oregon pipe cactus oh, exists. I they're further the down in they're further down in Mexico and this is as far north as they come in the United States. Oh, so smart. I know. I said climate change on that answer. <laughs> oh well they took it anyway. It is, it's true. They can't be subjected to frostbite because they die off. They so die. that's why this is as far north as they get. Cool. Are you eating lunch or working on your book or both? I think Cinder wants to eat her lunch. Don't feed it to her. Aaron and Daddy are working on their books. Ethan went outside. I found Gila Mom. Oh, here, 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 nice. Here. We are about to go out on a hike, but we want to take a longer hike, and we're not sure exactly how long that's going to take us. And we want to make sure we get to the visitor center to turn in our books before they close, because we won't be here tomorrow. So this is what we do often at um, parks. We'll grab our books, come out to the rig, and make ourselves some lunch, and then finish our books together inside our RV. I was eating my lunch and working on my book. Pack it up. Hey, I'm trying something cool. Go inside and get that one. You gonna show something cool? That is cool. <laughs> we love, we're like Junior Ranger junkies, and it was super fun today because John and I got to do a ranger program also. The weird desert rangers. Yeah. Yeah. Desert Rangers. I love finding out these little extra things and you have to ask for them. A lot of times, even just asking for the Junior Ranger books, they're like, yeah, they slip them down in front of you and that's it. But most parks have a few extra little things. This had the Desert Ranger that was kind of for adults or anyone you know older than the Junior Rangers. Right. They also have an Arizona Ranger program that we found out about that's part of the National Monuments in Arizona, not yeah. so much the parks. That one's cool. I know, I'm excited really about that. Nice too. It is nice. really nice. Mm -hmm. They have um, they have one for well, it's not a book; it's the pin. Yeah. So if you hike more than five miles in this uh, monument, then you have this cool little pin. And it's commemorative and metal. It's uh, super yeah. nice. It says like hike health or something, yep. hike, hike for health or something like that. It's a program that a lot of different national parks are apparently doing. So we we're definitely looking forward to look, looking into that because yep. we didn't quite get five miles in here, even though we tried. we were close. John and I are wrapping up our very own they're not junior ranger programs what are they called desert ranger programs we're excited to go um, get badges for the whole family today i get to record them doing the pledge as, As a, a desert, desert ranger, ranger, I will help to preserve and protect. I will, I will help, help to preserve and protect Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. Oregon Pipe Cactus <laughs> National <laughs> Monument. Very good. <laughs> and listen to oh, your And listen to your kids. Is that I what was you like, said? I was pause for a second here because I've done a little bit of research since we got back. Here's a little bit of the backstory of the park for you. In the 1990s, it was a very dangerous place to be because there was a lot of crackdowns on the like cities around the border. A lot of people used the parks like this one and other parks such as Big Bend as ways to get into the country and there was a lot of drug activity and it kind of culminated in 2002 with the unfortunate death of Chris Eggle who was a park ranger. He is who the visitor center is dedicated to today and named after. For 11 years after the incident the park was completely shut down and since then a new border patrol facility has been put in place and it reopened in 2014 and if you go there today you'll notice that border patrol is all over the place <laughs> it is a much safer place to be at now there are still incidences that happen but they have never had an incident with a visitor to the park because of the increased security this park is considered a safe place to visit without getting into politics because we aren't going there on this channel ever there is currently a wall being built uh 
along the park's border it is 30 feet tall made of steel and concrete with a 60 foot girth that they are clearing in order to make this wall so if that helps you feel more secure then awesome we hope that you will go and enjoy this park because despite all of the warning signs that you see everywhere as you approach it is a really beautiful place it's a biosphere which means that they are protecting so many different kinds of species and something we learned is that the sonoran desert especially in that area is one of the wettest deserts due to rainfall and the aquifer that is underneath the desert so it is full of life and it's very beautiful i cornered a, a, a ranger and i asked him because we were a little bit nervous just you know talk of um you know hiking around here and maybe leaving wendy while we go hike and the answer he gave me was that yes there are a lot of illegal problems here that yeah. happen they are a lot like bears they don't want to be seen by you. You'll not, you probably won't encounter them. You're not going to see them. And they have never had an attack on a visitor in this park ever. So they're going to leave you alone. That is not to say you should not be vigilant. Of course, you should, you know, v vigilant. vigilant. That is not to say that you should not be not <laughs> vigilant. I don't know if that's a word. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't be vigilant. Um, you know, we've been out here hiking. We're, we've, we're probably going to do around three, maybe four miles as a family today. This is kind of wrapping it up. I have felt safe the entire time. What did they say about water that was interesting? Um, he said that actually around these parts that water is more valuable than your possessions. So don't leave like your big water jugs out in your truck or water bladders full of water because they will get stolen. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And he says where they do have encounters, what usually happens is it's because people that are, you know, coming over... Uh, get lost because they obviously don't come over on any established trails so it's in the middle of nowhere and they get lost and turned around because this is a big part or big preserve monument whatever all this to say that yes there is quite a bit of illegal activity that goes around here but it's not necessarily an unsafe place to be and we have thoroughly enjoyed it and yep. would highly recommend coming to visit yeah i mean here. i felt we camped at a, a blm site that was real close to the entrance to the park and felt safe there there was certainly a bunch of rigs there were still signs and everything that are like don't pick up hitchhikers yeah, really <laughs> you know think? stuff like that i mean it's just a lot of it's just common sense there guys. are also a lot of border checks like yeah, um, yeah. we'll yeah, drive through probably two on the way back home yeah. Last year they were all like brown and dried and spiky and they still are but they have green leaves this year. Everything is so green. It's a mini organ pipe! It's like it looks like yay! That's so cute! It's Chloe's size. And I can feel the sun on my skin.
a good day to Well, we made it, didn't we, buddy? Yeah, Where are you at? This is not the end. We gotta hike back. Yeah, well, we gotta hike back, yes. <laughs> but there they are. Everybody wave. Hey. Woo! What you got there? It's a good day to be Desert hurts and cuts your hike a little short. But he'll be fine. Today and not tomorrow, there's no time to borrow to. Something's got to give today is a good day to This kind of falls into the fear mongering category that we talked about a few weeks ago. If you missed that video, we talked a little bit about kidnapping and trafficking and CPS. If you're interested in watching that video, you can check that one out up here. We are all about researching things because we feel that knowledge is empowering. We are no ordinary path after all. Just like we are not gonna let society tell us that we can't live a life a certain way, we're also not gonna let fear stand in the way of going and enjoying things while we're out here. We're hoping that through knowledge we can alleviate a lot of the anxiety that some people have when hitting the road or visiting certain areas like this particular national monument. Well, that was a super fun hike. How much? How many miles did we get? Um, total, I've got, sorry, 3.31. 3.31 to add to our 2.7? Yeah. So that's six miles. We have six miles down out of 100, In a which month. is super awesome. We have some, we have we to have, kick it up a little bit. We got a little ways to know? go, but that's yeah. okay. But we just wanted to say thank you again for watching and join us next week and hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah. And we will see you out there.